David, we're going to talk about the VM range here from Herco. How long has this range been in existence? I know we've got the 30 here, but tell us a little bit about the models. Yeah, we first introduced the VM range um, back 2002 to sort of 2004. We now have um, several models, a 5, a 10, a 20, a 30, and also a 5-axis machine, the 10U, and a high-speed machine, the 10HS and the 10UHS. So we're talking about machining centers, of which we've got behind us here. How many of the VM range, I know they're very popular, how many will you sell in the UK in a year? Um, typically around 150 to 200, something like that. Um, and what do you put the reason of the popularity down to? The, the VM range is a really good entry level um, option. So a general subcontract engineer without a lot of space, um, it's a good play, it's a good compact machine, true machine and center performance, so it's an accurate, fast machine, but not overly expensive, something someone can afford. We're talking about footprints. This is quite interesting because this model we've got here, the VM30i, we haven't looked at this one before, but we're looking at it now. I like the way you've got a pretty extended table or a bigger x-axis in a small area. Yeah, this one's 1270 in x. You still get 500 in the y as well. Um, compared with the next model up, the VMX, the VMX60, which is the equivalent travels, is a much bigger machine. So what this gives you the opportunity to do is quite large parts, but not to take too much of the workshop up. And your control on this, you've gone over to the Max 5 recently. How much does that help engineers when they're trying to program parts, of multiple parts, etc.? Yeah, in the end, if someone's buying a Herco machine, they'll see some benefit from our control. Most people use the conversational control part of the time or even all of the time. It's really intuitive, really easy to use, um, very, it steps you through every operation of what you need to program. And a typical Herco customer is a subcontract engineer who really never has any idea what the next job's going to be. And the nice thing with the Max 5 control is they can get the first part off and running as quickly and easily as possible. I do also like with this machine and the other VM models, the access and the entry. You seem to have got the, the height about right. Is that just because of the size I am or does it suit all? Um, yeah, we, we are trying as much as possible to make the whole package very ergonomic, very user friendly, so it's nice to be able to lean down. You can obviously bring the table forward for use. Um, we spend a lot of time, spend a lot of money on getting the control system um, very easy to use, very, you know, the right height, very comfortable height for, for users. And um, again, most operators are programming out the control, so it needs to be a nice, comfortable package. And when you're building up a, a, a tailored package of a machine, you start from ground zero almost, don't you, with the VM range? You, you add onto them whatever you desire. Yeah, that's exactly the idea. We, we have two main ranges, the VM range, which is the entry level, and the VMX range, which is the higher level. The idea of the VM is you start with as little as possible, so it's affordable for your small general startup type company. Um, so you've got things like swarf augers, swarf conveyors you can, you can add, probing, rotary tables, indexers, chiller units through spindle coolants. All those things can be scaled up. Same with the software in the control. We start off with a basic program, but you can add things like DXF converter, conversational NC merge, um, helical ramp entry, all these kind of things, full simultaneous five axis programming is capable on this machine. But the idea is you can start and grow with the Herco range. It's quite interesting because often companies look the other way and they bring machines in extremely high specifications which can be an overkill for some. Yeah, we, we obviously have all that. We have a very large range now of five axis machines, um, different configurations, um, but it's good to crawl before you can walk, before you can run. And the nice thing about this, we have a number of customers who are running VM20s and VM30s with rotary or rotary tilt tables. So they are using full five axis even on this level. And the, the, the sort of market you've mentioned already, the subcontract market, you, you do some fairly creative uh, commercial finance options as well, don't you, to help people that are looking to buy this sort of technology. Tell us about those. Yeah, at the moment we have a couple of um, nice packages that we're doing together with FFI. Um, we're doing an interest-free credit on a VM10, which is quite nice, a two-year package, no interest to pay, just simple 24 monthly payments on, on quite a nice priced machine. 
And then in addition, we're offering a, a very competitive five-year hire purchase. It seems a crazy question, but how does that help an engineer when he's buying a machine? What customers need to know is what it's going to cost them. Something like the interest-free credit um, idea, basically 24 single payments. If he knows how much it's going to cost him each month, he knows what he's going to get in off the machine. The machine's up and running very quickly. He can make a very quick decision on what he's buying. I would expect buying a Herco machine as well. You, you, you've got a great support structure in place and training for somebody that is uh, maybe new to this type of technology. Yes, the, um, the standard training is two days here at Herco for two people. There's a lot of extra options that you can learn and you can do later. We find two days in the classroom really helps everyone understand tool setup, things like that. Um, and, and the knowledge and the ability to program really helps us and it really helps us with the support structure. The residual values of these machines are very good. So when you're looking at an initial outlay, even 10 years down the line, these machines hold value very well and that, that's worth considering. It means you can, you can opt for a slightly higher value value machine rather than buying the cheapest that's on the market. And you get a full warranty as well? Yes, full year warranty with all the machines and we can up extend up to five years and we offer all sorts of service contracts and things like that, peace of mind, um, accidental breakdown cover, we can offer the whole package. Good insight into the VM range, thank you David. Thank you very much.